Super Select AI is a great way to mask portions of your image. I'm going to use it here to showcase how this can be put into a workflow and hopefully you can identify where it fits in with your own photo editing workflow. Keep in mind this is pre-release software so this is only going to get better when it's actually released in October. Now, if you want to pick up a copy of On One Photo Raw 2023, use the coupon code FREEWILLPHOTOS20 at checkout and you can save 20%. Now, I plan to showcase Super Select AI on a portrait, a landscape, a wildlife, and a macro photo. So, if one of those areas fits your needs the best, use the chapter markers down below to jump to that specific section. Let me know in the comment section below what genre of photography you shoot and if you'd like to see Super Select AI used on one of those photos. Here we are inside of On One Photo Raw 2023 and I have a few images pulled up here so we're just going to start with the portrait photo here. Now I selected a group photo because I want to showcase how Super Select AI can work on a group photo. I'm going to hit the letter K and that's just the keyboard shortcut to select Super uh, or super select AI, which is over here on the left pane. And what I'm going to do is just hover over the image with it activated. As you can see, those little pink areas, that's telling me what it's going to select. Now, it does a really good job at isolating individual people down here. And then I can even get the bench and the concrete. So lots of opportunity here to select what I want. Now for this image, I think the background is just blown out. So let's recover that. I'm going to click here and I'm also going to click here just to select the entire background, leaving the foreground untouched. If I come up to the top, I have a few options. I can click on adjustment and then hover over each one of these items and just see what it does on the image. Uh, but then now my, keep in mind the adjustment here, this refers to the local adjustment tab or local adjustment module, whereas everything else here refers to the effects module. So you have to select what you want to do. I'm going to go with a tone enhancer and I'm just going to click on tone enhancer by itself. Now I could choose one of the presets that are built into the tone enhancer, but I just want to add a tone enhancer without anything on it. So I'm just going to click tone enhancer and it doesn't do anything at first. So in order for me to actually apply this into the effects pane here, I'm going to have to click on add on one's going to think for a second. And there it is. It is now added the tone enhancer without any adjustments applied. So all I have to do now is just pull down on my exposure. And as you can see, it's starting to recover those issues out there. Now, I think where a lot of people are going to have some challenges using this tool is once you add, it doesn't deselect the tool, right? So what you're going to have to do is either hit the uh, Z key for zoom and that takes you out of it. We'll go back into it or you come up to the top and you click on done. I personally like to just hit the Z key. That way I know that I'm not on a tool that's going to uh, challenge or mess up my photo. Uh, the other thing that you can do here is you can copy these masks, right? Because now you have the mask all over again. So I'm going to hit copy and I'm going to hit add filter and I'm going to add another tone enhancer. And then we'll just go ahead and paste it on here and I'm going to hit invert. Now what I can do is work on if I hit the letter O, you can see this is what the mask looks like. And again, pre-release software, this will uh, likely get better. But even if it doesn't, here's what you can do. You can just paint over. And now I'm adding in on that mask. And this is a lot easier to do than trying to mask this out by myself without using the AI Super Select. So just keep that in mind. And I'm not going to do a perfect job just for the sake of speeding the tutorial along, but I think you'll get the idea or the gist of what you can do. All right. So we'll hit the letter O and what I'm going to do is hit contrast here. And that's just going to bring these guys, this group of people a little bit more into 
the frame, uh, like more attention to them in the frame. And then I may even just bring down their exposure just a little bit uh, and open up the shadows. And then I'll come down here, pull up on the compression, and we'll pull up on the details just a little bit to make them a little bit more sharper. I think there was soft focus, and this is a prime candidate for Tack Sharp AI, but that's not for this video. So I'll show you the before and after. This is the before, and this is the after. Now, I could have done that a lot faster, but I was explaining. Here we are on a landscape. I'm going to hit the letter K, and this brings me back into my Super Select AI tool. Now, I just start clicking everywhere, and now I have everything selected again. Now, what I want to do is, how do you deselect something? Well, you just click it again, all right? So click it. When it turns blue, that shows that you have it selected. Click it again. It deselects it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And I want to show you a different way of using Super Select AI. So I'm going to hit add filter and I want to add a bleach bypass to the foreground of this image. I'm going to click on the mask icon once I add the bleach bypass. And if you look over here, I have mask AI and then there's a drop down next to all. If I click on natural ground, it's going to start to bring back all of those options. And then, of course, I have mountain. And then I can, as long as you don't hover away from it, hit mountain and then click apply. And now I have created a mask that is uh, painting out because I was on paint out. But if I change this to paint in, it just reverts that mask. So everything that I have selected in this drop down, you can come back and rearrange and rechange this, but it essentially tells you what you have. So you can come in here and I can say, you know what? I don't want natural ground anymore. And now it's removed, but I do want it. So I'm going to hit apply and I can make my edit. So we'll just make something really drastic here. So it comes through nice on YouTube and we'll even increase the detail. Uh, and maybe even saturate it some. Nah, we'll desaturate it. Make it like really, really dramatic. All right. Now, I have my sky remaining. And I want to do something a little bit more drastic to the sky. Well, I can go ahead and hit add filter. And let's go with a curves adjustment. And we'll click on the curves mask. And this time I want to paint in. And I only want to select the sky. Sky and then hit apply. And was, for some reason it went to paint out again. I don't know why. But I invert the mask and now I have my sky selected. And what I want to do is really just pull down on the exposure. I want to match the tonality of these mountains, right? So I'm going to pull down on my exposure there. We're going to go to the blue channel and we're just going to increase the blues just a little bit, maybe uh, in the shadow area. We'll pull back and, you know, this is just like a, a really poor color grade. But, you know, the, the point here is you can use Super Select AI even outside of just selecting on the actual photo. So let's go ahead and close that down. Here's the before and here is the after. Again, a really fast way of working with masking your image. If you're finding value in this video, smash the like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more content about on one photo raw. So here we are with a photo of a bird and I'm just going to use the letter K again to pull up the super select and this time we're going to work with it with some local adjustments. Now, the background here is primarily what's being selected and then there's the bird. So it's only picking up two things in this particular image. So I'm just going to click the background. We're going to come up here to adjustments and let's make a contrast background. We'll go ahead and hit add. And now it comes over here into our local adjustments tab and just like any other local adjustment at this point, you can make your uh, selection or I'm sorry, make your modifications as you need be. And you have access to the mask. If I hit the letter O, 
you can see it kind of paints over the bird. So what I need to do is go to paint out and I need to correct the mask on the bird. Again, pre-release software. So don't judge the masking uh, for how it's working right now. Uh, we'll wait until the full release. I really just want to show how fast and easy you can start to get the edits that you want with masking your image. Now that I have that ready to go, I can say, you know what? The bird is now a little too dark. I need to make the bird darker, or I'm sorry, brighter. So what I'll do is add an adjustment and I'm going to click on the mask and we'll click on animal and hit apply. So on one realize like, hey, this is an animal. Now, of course, it went the opposite direction because uh, and for whatever reason, it likes to revert to paint out instead of paint in. But that's an easy fix by clicking on invert. So what I'm going to do is just increase the exposure here, maybe even open up some shadows and we'll work on the structure of the bird. And what I like to do with all of my masks is add a little bit of feather. So I'll hit the letter O and again, we're going to have to add in the rest of the bird here. So we'll do it like that. And I'm not making this perfect, but uh, it would not be too much work to make this uh, a little bit better of a mask, right? So. We'll say that that looks good. And then I like to feather my mask. If you watch any of my videos, this is just my style. I like to feather them so they blend a little bit better. Uh, and then we'll even brighten or warm up the temperature of the bird just a little bit. Give them a little bit of a fill. So we'll turn that off and turn it back on. And you can see the bird is now a lot brighter in the frame. I would probably even crop this a little bit more, but that's not what this video is about. So now we're looking at a macro photo. And... The same concept applies here, right? If I hit the letter K, I get my super select tool and I can start to hover around and there isn't much for on one to figure out here, right? So if I select the round or the bullet, which is primarily what's over here, it's telling me that all of this is also included. So let's see how hard it is to correct this particular mask. We'll go ahead and hit adjustment and we'll we'll say we wanted to contrast it, right? And we'll just go ahead and hit add. I really like adding this contrast. So we'll hit the letter O and as you can see, it's all over here and we don't really need that. So what I'm going to do is come up to the top menu bar and we'll click on mask view mode and we're going to go with the red overlay. So now when I hit the letter O, I can see where everything is painted out. Okay. So if I get my brush tool and I go to paint out, I can start to paint out the rest of everything else that I don't need in the image, just like so. And then I'll make it a little bit smaller. We'll hit Command R and let's see how this works coming around the edge here. Pretty decent. And you know, this is just part of photo editing, right? Sometimes you got to spend a little bit of time working on your image to get the look that you're going for. And there's nothing wrong with that. The tools that we have available to us are really just to help us get going. And then we, as the artist or the photographer or the editor, have to come in with the rest of the vision. Uh, and hopefully the tools, they just don't get in the way. This is one of my real uh, joys about working in On One. The tools don't get in the way of my edits um, and my workflow. So we'll say that that looks okay. Let's go ahead and hit the letter O to turn off that overlay. And now, as you can see, I have the contrast filter really only on the item here. Super Select AI is a phenomenal tool, lots of fun to use. But 
There's more coming in on 2023. To find out more, click the video on screen. Until next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.